Hello everyone. It is indeed a pleasant day. As part of the most essential learning competencies in general mathematics, let us explore the concept of rational functions. A rational function is a function of the form f of x equals p of x, over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not a zero function, or q of x is not equal to zero. The domain of f of x is all values of x where q of x is not equal to zero. Let us have a simple scenario to illustrate a rational function. Average speed, or velocity, can be computed by the formula, s equals d over t. Consider a 100 meter track used for foot races. The speed of a runner can be computed, by taking the time it will take him to run the track, and applying the formula, s equals 100 over t, since the distance is fixed at 100 meters. And here's task number one. Represent the speed of the runner as a function of the time it takes to run 100 meters in the track. For the solution, since the speed of a runner depends on the time it takes the runner to run 100 meters, we can represent speed as function of time. Let x represent the time it takes the runner to run 100 meters. Then the speed can be represented as a function s of x. Thus, s of x equals 100 over x. Observe that it is similar in structure to the formula, s equals d over t, relating speed, distance, and time. This is an example of a rational function based on a real-life scenario. Task number 2. Continuing the previously described scenario, construct a table of values for the speed of a runner against different run times. Solution. A table of values can help us determine the behavior of a function. Let second be the unit of time, as meter per second be the unit of the function s of x. Task number 3. Using the table of values, construct the graph of the rational function, s of x equals 100 over x. From the table, we can observe that the speed decreases, as time increases. We can use the graph to determine if the points on the function, follow a smooth curve, or a straight line. Solution, assign points for each entry on the table of values. Plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Given here, are the set of ordered pairs from the table of values. These are the coordinates of the points, plot on the Cartesian plane. By connecting the points, we can see that they are not collinear, but rather follow a smooth curve. This example is based on real-world scenario, and has limitations on the value of x variable. A runner cannot have a negative time, running backwards, nor he can exceed the limits of human physiology. Can a person run 100 meters in one second? This is the reason why we have the so-called restricted value of x. This restricted value of x will eventually lead us to the concept of the asymptotes of a rational function. Considering q of x as the denominator of a rational function, q of x should not be equal to zero because it will make the rational function undefined.
And here is task number 4. Determine the vertical asymptote of the rational function s of x equals 100 over x. For the solution, equate the denominator q of x to 0. Thus, x equals 0 is the vertical asymptote of the rational function s of x equals 100 over x. Now let us draw the vertical asymptote, x equals 0, of the given rational function, s of x, equals 100 over x. Task number 5. Determine the horizontal asymptote of the rational function s of x equals 100 over x. To determine the horizontal asymptote of s of x equals 100 over x, we have to consider three conditions. First, if the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0 in symbols. Second, if the degree of p of x is equal to the degree of q of x, the horizontal asymptote is y equals d sub p of x over d sub q of x in symbols. Third, if the degree of p of x is greater than the degree of q of x, the horizontal asymptote does not exist in symbols. Now for s of x equals 100 over x, p of x is of degree 0, because there's no x in the numerator, q of x is of degree 1, because x in the denominator is first degree. So d sub p of x is less than d sub q of x, then y equals 0. And then, let us draw the horizontal asymptote y equals 0 of the given rational function s of x equals 100 over x. Task number 6, determine the y-intercept and the x-intercept of the rational function s of x equals 100 over x. To determine the y-intercept, let x equals 0 and solve for s of x equals y. y equals 100 over x will be undefined because x equals 0 is a restricted value. In this case, y-intercept does not exist. To determine the x-intercept, let s of x equals y equals 0, and solve for x. 0 equals 100 over x, since x cannot be solved in the above equation. Therefore, x-intercept does not exist. What we have just explored is the graph of rational function based on real-life scenario. And now let's think about this. Do all graphs of rational functions have vertical and horizontal asymptotes? Some graphs of rational functions have x and y intercepts. Is this true? Once again, thank you. Study the hardest way you can.